All right, you ready? Sure. Hello, gentles and lady men. I'm Ulan Gaming, and I'm joined by uh, General Spades slash uh, Chase. Hi, how's it going? Like and subscribe. <laughs> really, really getting that out of the way real quick, aren't we? <laughs> Uh, you're not going to promote my channel any other way. You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. Although I do put it on the front page of my own channel. And and today, uh, we are looking at a competitive game that happens between me and an Inca player. Now, this game isn't anything particular. Oh my god, I'm about to sneeze. Um, this game isn't anything particularly my... special, you know? Um... It's it's it, I'm not doing any crazy strategies. I'm I, I, this is just a good game that I played and was happy with. Uh, now, con Shocked. That I know never happens. <laughs> now I'm I'm not the best player out there. Uh, con contrary to the fact that uh, to what may people may think, just because I am a YouTuber, I'm just kind of a slightly better than average player who makes a lot of build orders. It's my it's you're kind of my you're favorite. a new Aussie Drongo. Except you make build orders. Yeah, but I also don't like try to pretend that I'm the best player out there. Uh, <laughs> oh, calling him out! Whoa! Uh, but video title. You can read the title below. How how Drongo got called out. Uh, uh but, but my my point with that was is that um, I'm not the best player out there, and I've historically kind of struggled against the Inca Boom Swarm type of thing. Uh, and in this game, I overcame it. So for me, that was a big step, and I wanted to share that with you guys. Now, uh, don't worry, my build orders and crazy videos aren't gone. Uh, I've just been under the weather recently, and I still kind of am, so uh, production of that has kind of slowed by a lot. Uh, in addition... Most recent video was fire, though. <laughs> yeah, it, it didn't get very many views, actually. I'm kind of surprised, but whatever. Um, so yeah, we have this Inca player on the other side. He has picked his deck. Uh, it's very standard Inca, you know? Uh, he's, he's, he could rush, he could chill back and boom. Uh, it's, it's really up in the air. The one thing I know he's not doing is native rushing. And I have opted for my trade post start. Uh, only two trade posts isn't necessarily the best. Uh, for a trade post boom kind of uh, strategy, considering I do have Merchant Republics in my deck. Uh, however, I find that whenever I get more than two trade posts on the offset of the match, uh, I, I tend to overextend my wood a little bit and end up losing to any kind of early aggression. So only having two trade posts actually prevents me from getting tempted to build a third one too early. So <laughs> I, I decided to go for it anyways. Uh, no, and uh, yeah, that that's good. that's kind of just the the the, the, the offset at the beginning here. Uh, both of us are just kind of going around taking treasures as we go. Oh my god, he challenged this wild boar. This, this thing's fucking tanky. Look how he's gonna take it too. Holy shit! <laughs> Seventeen HP. Uh, what did he get for that? Uh, fifteen, 15 food. Fifteen food plus the boar food. Yeah, which is thirty-five. So it's like, fifty. It's fifty okay. food total. It's not a terrible treasure, I suppose. It, it ain't great, though. <laughs> this is, of course, the Balkan Mountains, where we have five towers in the middle of the maps that are guarded by treasure guardians, and they belong to whoever steps most uh, steps like against their base most recently. Uh, there are also gold mines on the left and right of the center of the map, very high priority targets. Uh, now this... What are you waging the two with here? Oh, uh, the quartermaster. Uh, the quartermaster is going to give me four hundred wood, which I will use for a second trading post, as well as getting a stagecoach. Now let's let's take a look at uh, to see how much each of us have scouted. The Inca player has, of course, sent his chasky around and just completely scouted the ever living fuck out of my side of the map. That's uh, smart. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Yeah. Inca, such a cool sieve. They get, they they start with a chasky and then they get an extra chasky with every single shipment that they send in age one. Uh, I'm trying to find where his second chasky is because I know he had one. 
It's up in the top left of the map. Uh, that is a vil that is a witch hunter. Then never mind. I yen got you. I don't know what that guy says because it's too quiet. <laughs> Oh god, I didn't even know he said anything. Yeah, yeah, no, that that is just the Inca Explorer thing, is that he's super quiet. Uh, but he is aging, what is he aging to do with? The Elder, okay, so the Elder is gonna provide, um... I don't, I don't remember what the Elder uh, provides. Oh, here's the second chassis, he hasn't moved it out of his base yet. Yeah, I don't remember what the Elder provides. Darn, I'm really normally good at this stuff. <laughs> so his first shipment in age two is more villagers. So yeah, he so he's going, going three five. And he just constructed a war hut. His Chasky took a couple hits from Blueberry LT right here. And he's popping his big button for the Inca scouting party. Consisting of five plumed spearmen. That doesn't seem like it'd be a very good scouting party. I feel like you'd want the like, genies for scouting, don't you? Yeah, probably. What are you doing here? This is this is your build order, so we should yeah. figure out what you're doing here. That is true. I, I I'm sorry. I'm just I'm more curious about what he did because you know I've already won this game from my perspective. Uh, I built us a hospital. I have uh, my second chain post from researching stagecoach. And I'm making sentinels. I'm shipping 700 coins so I can afford the sentinels while I put most of my villagers on food. And the stagecoach is going to be responsible for all of my wood income. So my first five sentinels are out, and the first thing I'm doing is going up here and grabbing the settler treasure. And then once I get a couple more, I'm going to go for the tower. Uh, he's done a much better job of scouting than me, admittedly. I only scouted the center of the map. I kind of just did, uh, avoided his side of the map entirely. I, I, I'm so used to having, like, early aggression from Inca that, like, my priority when I'm against them is to, like, find treasures to give me resources to help me defend faster rather than scouting out his base, which is something I really need to improve at, I think, because I, I think scouting his base is more important to continue to just run that chassis through my base. At, at the very least to see, you know, if they've made... What what like military production building they made so you know if you know if it's a cav start or a, exactly, exactly I mean Inca doesn't have cav but it's been very useful when I have been in I mean, opponent spaces all of their H two units come from the war hut so yeah that's what I'm, it's not as as useful at, against an Inca player but like against a Euro Civ or something like that yeah yes. nice snag of is that a chat that was that a Chasky that was just chilling there yep. Chasky did. Nice, he still nice got this snack. one up here, though. Uh, he uh, now nah, the my my build order my my like hard four shipments are three settlers, merchant republic, seven hundred coin, and wigman fort. And after that, it's kind of just whatever I feel like I need. I usually send papal bull as my next card, so I can start being aggressive. Uh, but in this case, I'm trying to take down take these city towers because they provide forward shipment points, but it also provides the aura boost to my sentinels. So if I can take this, I don't need to build an outpost in the middle of the map in order to get my aura boost. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And there it is. Yep, there's Yay. the aura boost. 26 I like the little, uh, the little dance that the explorer did when he captured it. Oh, did, did you I, notice that? I did not notice it. I take three towers in this match, so I yeah, we'll next take it time out zoom we'll take it zoom out in on the explorer if if he's around the thing you'll Look you'll it. see him do a little dance when he captures it. It's kind of cute. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Ooh, rotated buildings. Uh, so because his chat, if if he was watching when his Chasky died to uh, the Sentinels, then he knows I have heavy infantry. He should be making General Bowman, which I think he was already kind of making anyways. He's also taken both Tambos and is researching uh, the stagecoach for himself at this point. Uh, I, I took a shot oh. off and managed to get his chassis down to three health, but the motherfucker oh, slipped out. I could have shot it with the settler here, but I didn't. And you'll never see him again. Oh no, he keeps running through my base. It's really funny. I end oh, up so shooting him with the settler. Oh, so he dies. Yeah, he does die eventually. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, now, so this is definitely very turtly from the Inca player. 
yeah, no, he's literally just content to chill in his base and make lots of these conch houses. He, as you can see, he's rotated his buildings so he can kind of create a wall. There's no need for him to keep running through your base. Like, he's seen everything he needs to see at this point. Yeah, yeah, and it, it, I think it'd be a lot more important if he was being aggressive and pushing, but he's specifically trying to turtle and boom here. Which is also what I'm doing, and I'm Inca, and I'm Malta, so I don't know how, uh, how, how good that of a decision that is. Yeah. Taking the second tower so I can take out some map control without, yeah. without having to spend some wood. Just watch your explorer. Come on, do the dance. Hey! Oh, I love it! <laughs> I've never I've never noticed that animation before. That may just be the uh, that may just be the we've won a victory dance, but yeah, yeah, I think it is. Uh, now I'm building depots right next to the towers. This will increase their rate of fire when they're under my control. But more importantly, is I thought the depots would keep the it would keep it counted as a unit that's like next to my. My towers that he couldn't capture it. Uh, it turns out that depots do not function that way. I would have guessed that, actually. But it's okay. Because I know something like a town center does do that, you know. So I, I came in just a little bit to see what he had. I saw so he had Jungle Bowman and immediately left. I just noped out of there. I knew I wasn't going to be able to accomplish much with those. It's a good decision. Yeah. Inca player, and he now knows I'm massing Sentinels, so he's keeping right. up the Jungle Bowman mass. A very smart idea. And he's halfway to age 3. He's aging with the Warrior. Uh, the Warrior, I think, gives um, Maceman for its age up. It, or maybe it's Chimus. Maybe it's Chimus. It, it's some kind of military upgrade. Let's say, don't ask me. I don't know. Oh, now I just shot his dude with, uh, with, with the oh. seller that was making this market. Finally, after seeing your market half up. <laughs> now that he has that information, he he can't lose though. Apparently, that's incorrect. <laughs> Remains to be seen. Yeah, we'll, still we'll training see. jungles we'll and out. and Chasky. Uh, jungle bows and plume and plume spearmen. Oh, gotcha. Chasky of the little scouts. Oh uh, yeah, let's see what the warrior co what, what he gets from the warrior. Where is it? Ah, eight jungle, jungle. bowmen and the chest to go with it. See, he's got quite the mass of jungle bowmen now. He's got 26 of them and he's training Bloom Spearmen. But he's got quite the mass here. This is like what Inca's really good at. Uh, we're just at about the same score though. Um, I'm also halfway up aging. I have the hospitality card sent so that I may age up faster and get cheaper upgrades. And I'm trying to come up here see if I can pick some settlers off. I, I end up deciding against it just because I know there's a lot of jungle bowmen. And I think I ended up taking this instead. No, did I ever take this one? I don't know if I did or not. Oh well. <laughs> You're standing here like you want to. I know. Oh yeah, here's the explorer coming. Uh, look, and these all for forward shipment points, so I sent my home city that I get from Age up to the middle of the map here. Such a nice ability. These city towers are really important in defensive. Yeah, uh, by this point, uh, I also have a depot by this one, by this city tower as well. Yeah, that's kind of an integral part of this map is taking these. Absolutely. Just because they provide you so much line of sight, and you know, as Malta. That's definitely something that you want to do is take map control and have vision over everything. And you haven't been challenged at all for these. So that's, I mean, that's on him. Now, I've been in age three for all of one minute and my Sentinels are now carded and veteran. Uh, and I, I like to do the speak first before I send like the Toriosa or anything because yeah, Sentinels cool. scale really, really hard in the, into the Fortress Age. Uh, they, they, they really, they really do. They scale extremely hard into the Fortress Age. Uh, I mean, they, they just went from, like, 180 HP and maybe 20, and 26 attack to 250 HP and 35 attack. Uh, which is quite insane, given their bases are 150 and 23. Yeah, that's a big jump. That's, you know, two-thirds over, that's like, say, almost 70% jump from exactly. age two to three. So I, come up, uh, yeah. 
so the Inca player has, uh, it looks like he's getting ready to push. He's moving his army out towards the center of the map here. And this is our first real engagement that comes up. Uh, he doesn't realize that his plume spearmen are within view of my city tower here. So I'm like, oh, well, I can run in and take a couple pot shots uh, and then run out, you know, before he, like, realizes I'm there. So in we come. He's moving his jungle pose. Three... Didn't quite get the fourth. There you go, there's a fourth. And he's got a lot of jungle bowmen here, way more than I can handle with Sentinels alone, which is why I am building an artillery foundry. And I have switched much of my economy for uh, for preparation for... Uh, oh, and look at that. Fire Explorer micro. Yep. Fire, explore building up the depot, which forces him to either choose to let the depot go up or focus him or the depot down. He opts to leave my explorer alive and get, allow the depot to go up. Do you explode it here? I do not explode it, as a matter of fact, but it forces him to retreat regardless. I have hoop throwers that just arrived into the center of the map from my home Good city. Good shit, man. The nine, yeah, the nine hoop thrower shipment is a really incredible shipment. Yeah, just a whole bunch of red 12s going up. Well done. He's still got a good mass of jungle bowmen. Nothing these hoop throwers can't deal with with their area of effect. I don't know what my explorer is quite doing, but I want him to be building more depots. Yep, there it is. There, there's, there's the next depot that's going up. Look at these hoop throwers. These nine hoop throwers, now four, basically soloed most of this army here. I was about to say, it's, I mean, it's... A little bit much to ask that the uh, hoop thrower micro be a little bit better. Like there was one where nine hoop throwers threw at a single, or fire throwers threw at a single unit, and that was like a little overkill. Mm -hmm. But but there's not much else you can do. So yeah, this is when I, I mean, discovered just... to my horror that the, this depot does not count as a unit. He just captured the tower here while my units were like three feet away. <laughs> but then he moves back and I recapture it. So. That uh, makes life easier. See, now How I have three he. depots here in the center. That and... evil blue color. Now, I didn't explode any of these depots because I kind of just wanted him to run away. Um, I do end up exploding one of them, and it was possibly the greatest explosion ever. Ooh. I know, right? And a fixed gun coming now? Is that out of a shipment? or is No, that, that is it? me just building it with Blueberry LT there. He gets focused on it pretty much immediately. <laughs> when they see that. I have five sentinels, but I kind of just don't want them to engage the, the archers. Or what is he I building do. there? Is that a war hut? Yeah, it's a war hut. But he's also got a stronghold trap while that he ships. Which is a good idea, right? But look where he decides to create it. You oh. see the problem here? I do. <laughs> and there it goes. <laughs> Goodbye, Stronghold. <laughs> nice to know ya. That's a nine times... Oh, oh and then that detonates this one as well, unfortunately. But that's a nine times oh. multiplier that's multiplied by two. Um, do uh, That's multiplied by four due to the building being incomplete. So it's like a 36 times multiplier. <laughs> oh, that's a shipment too, isn't it? Yeah, it was a whole shipment that I destroyed oh with 100 my resources. God, that's so bad. <laughs> So he's taking the forward base. But, I mean, uh, what's he going to... He doesn't really have... Unless he's massing units behind this, he can't really do anything about it. I mean, he is massing units behind this. He's... he's oh, wait. He, or he... Yeah, he's still training. Yeah, I mean... Five out of here. He's training lots of Chima runners because now he knows that I'm trying to go heavier on the, uh, the fire throwers. Just really smart of him. He's sieging this down. I'm trying to get the last, what last units I can from the artillery foundry while I make a new artillery foundry in here and start producing sentinels out of both of these because I know I'm going to be under pressure soon. I also shipped a fixed gun and put it in my base. Again, pretty solid defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, he's just kind of he's just kind of massing units up, putting them in, uh, putting them on the artillery foundry, trying to make sure nothing else gets out of this. Which I mean, I was kind of lucky. Oh, oh, no, 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 dear explorer, go run away, run away, blueberry LT. Oh, 
Nope. Denied. Are you gonna blow this up too? Uh, I think I was. I wasn't paying attention when he sieged this down. I was about to say, cause like he's just perfectly in range. I know. He was also be watching it carefully though, as well. So it, it's not like it would have done much. It does damage this tower though. Cut. Well, it takes a long time to explode. Yeah, oh, they, didn't... they take a while to explode on, it, on their own. So uh, I shipped the lancers, the order lancers, at this point. So now I yeah, have. And they got yeah. under the fixed gun, which sucks. They did. For you. But there are still units that aren't under the fixed gun, so it's it's shooting those down. Uh, those lancers coming. It went on top of the jungle bowmen. And now I have fire throwers. I have fire throwers thrown while the sentinels are in melee, and the jungle bowmen are all dead. So this push kind of just died really, really fast. That's what you call a clean wipe. It was a clean wipe. I never ended up making any more of those lancers. I probably should have, but it's whatever. My commandery went up here. I didn't realize that he had another army, so I'm like, "Fuck! Time to turn around and go." <laughs> But then I just charged up here and he ran away, so I just brought it right back! <laughs> yeah, what, I mean... And he still doesn't know where your second town center is. He, no, he has not spotted it at all. Uh, all those bills he's, on the coin he's mine. Almost, he's almost spotted it. <laughs> he doesn't even spot this gold mine here. What, this one little black area is having a gold he, mine. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's... <laughs> really unfortunate. <laughs> Yeah, he's shipping. Uh, he's shipping the uh, jungle bow support, which will give them a higher bonus against heavy infantry. It's kind of like their counter infantry rifling. Uh, by this point, he's shipped his two town center card. Really good card. He shipped eight villagers, uh, six llamas. I'm not entirely sure why he shipped, but he did. Uh, and of course, he's got the Chincha brewing. I think he sent that way earlier. So he's, he's got his priorities straight. He got his two town centers out. He's booming out of three TCs. If we look at settler counts right now, it's 69 villagers to him to 59 from me. And he's burning down this commandery. This commandery is not long for this world, unfortunately. And my army kind of got wiped again, so I'm once again trading out of my hospitals and things back at home. Yeah, this certainly seems to be a, a, a back and forth battle right now where, you know, oh. everybody's fighting over that one now half dead outpost and when he initially overtook my army i popped my uh hoop throwers into the commandery and i just popped him back out to get him to come back home ideally i would have put a second commander in my base and popped him out of that to lower the risk but it is teleportation there's i still definitely have room to improve this this kind of this uh my malta for sure and now i'm just kind of chilling by the hospital to uh to heal him up How big is the radius on Wignacord? Is every villager ah, would on you like gold me? mine? I getting, actually uh, did a whole bunch of research and know exactly how Wignacord works. Are you curious? Uh, sure. All right. The Wignacord radius on outposts and the commandery is their base line of sight. Oh, gotcha. But for the town center, it's its current line of sight. So every time I age up and my line of sight increases, it raises the radius of Wignacord. Gotcha. Or if I get, or if I get uh, gaslighting from the church, it also raises the radius of the viewpoint. Big fight going on here. You don't win this, you're in trouble. Uh, he ships the lancers. I have a, uh, but I have the the fixed gun. He is getting under the fixed gun now, which is a, a very dangerous spot for me because I don't want to lose this fixed gun here. Uh, but all of his lancers and shoe runners are dead. Uh, he's got six more plume spearmen coming though, so that's that's going to be a big boon for him in terms of siege power. Yeah, We're just desperately are doing work though. Desperately trying to clear out this army before the sea the fixed gun goes, but tis not to be, and he gets it down. Unfortunately, he did kind of waste most of his military because of it. I think once he saw the fixed fort, he should have stayed back and gotten some Haraka. 
I mean, yeah, you both have now taken out a shipment of each other's. Yeah, pretty much. Although his was a hell of a lot more devastating because he got no value out of that. That's, yeah, it's also true. <laughs> it literally didn't even go up. At least you got, you know, a handful of kills with the fixed gun before uh, it ended up dying. All right, so yeah, that was just me producing out of this and these two. And now I'm like, oh, well, his, he's got no army. It's time to take back this. And then, of course, he had another army again. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> that that is mean, the thing about stole... Inca is they never stop massing no matter what. But yeah, this is something like needs to be taken. I have veteran card and fire throwers, you know. It helps that sentinels and fire throwers have the same upgrade card. Yeah, no kidding. Well, yeah, you forced him off the tower, which now you can take. Yep. And it doesn't hurt you anymore. Exactly. It also only has 400 HP. And I'm queuing up my H up with the Pope for 1,000 XP. Pope you're going to beat him. You're going to beat him to age um, H4 by a, a landslide, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Now, by this point, I had run out of coin in the gold mine here. And I'm also starting to run out of hunts. And so I have 40 people on wood. Uh, just because what else am I going to gather, you know? And so I decide I, I ships the Duredden Towers, which ships two towers and allows them to make infantry. So I decided to bring them over here and start using them to uh, to take this gold mine here and the hunt that's up here. Uh, all the villagers that were up by this town center have now moved down here uh, and here as well. So uh, once these go up, yeah, you're going to start seeing these villagers that are going to come up and try to take this gold mine over on the left side here. More fights. As for the Inca player, he hasn't really delved into anything in the middle of the map, so all of his eco is already on farms. Uh, and then he's just got the, the he's just mining gold for, from where he can. You know. These Chima runners trying to uh, connect to the hoop throwers, so I just kind of like let him go all the way around while I take pot shots and then <laughs> the fire throwers. Uh, I think that was a big mistake on his part. He should have just ran th tried to run them through the Sentinels in the first place if he wanted to connect to the Fire Throwers rather than going all the way in the hospitals. Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough because you want to uh, you want to get as to, to as many Fire Throwers as, as you can or as many of the units that they counter as you can. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, not risking a bunch of them. And, and you, you also have to take into account that you can't spend forever trying to connect because the time that you take trying to connect your units to their counters is time that his units can just shoot at you. Yeah, I, probably best bet was just to, to run away because he just kind of threw away a whole bunch of units there. Mm -hmm. Just back up, keep massing, and, uh, and take an engagement later with, you know, keep your so, units alive. I hit H4 and initially sent rockets, but then decided to cancel it and send the Russian tongue instead, get some Opries to pop out of the side of the map here. I have five sentinels that killed the two villagers that were gathering from the hunt there. Or these took shots at them, I don't know if they killed them or not. Like and the not... battle for the middle outpost It looks like he has continues. some Haraka now. Hey. Yeah, like pretty much all the battle happened around this one fucking outpost and it kept like changing sides. Uh, we have the veteran, uh, the guard fire throwers and the guard sentinels upgrades coming in. Look it's at that, 329 be, HP. Beautiful. It's gonna be tough for him to come back just because you're starting to get, you know, you're starting to get guard upgrades now and the health. Yeah, the counters matter to, less when he, you have he needs such a health to do advantage. Now, and you've but got the he, he does have a lot too. of Chima runners attached to my fire yeah. throwers here. But certainly these, aren't these gathering. Certainly aren't gathering any food right now. And that outpost in the center. Yeah, that outpost in the center is like actually just gone now. But yes, uh, the outpost. I I am gonna start building up some farms right now. But pretty much my entire ego is focused on fire farms at the moment. Oh, and they don't cost food. No, nope, they cost wood coin. And oh, would you look at that? Oh, that hurts. <laughs> that really hurts. That's oh, why the Oprys no. are beautiful. Oh, no. And he doesn't even know what's happening. He does now. He just moved all of these woodcutters away, but too late. Yeah, that's what, 10 at least? Something like that. We can check in the post game. Yeah. 
just cleaning up all the villagers. I would just call it a, a GG at that point. I mean, what he's on, you're on 86 and now he's on what? 82. 82. Okay, he had more so. villagers than me in the first place. He had three TCs. I only had, I, I had two. That's I built true. a third one though. I did build a third one right here. Yeah, now he's just training up as many plume spearmen as he can to help deal with this, this plight. And now is when you push in with your force. Right? Exactly. I'm because assuming. I just got the rockets shipment on my fire bearers. Oh, there it is. Finally starting to transition people over. 50 idle villagers, no big deal. <laughs> yeah. Versus your 10, yeah. That's that's where the eco matters, right there. Indeed. Although at this point we both have like stockpiled over a thousand of each resource, so it's not that big of a deal in the short term. Uh, of course, he's still an age three. That is also accurate, yes. And uh, from this point, it, 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 I, at this point, we're both feeling it and that it's only just kind of a matter of time, you know? I mean, yeah, you built up a 10k score lead in a matter of minutes. Mm -hmm. Just from vil kills and... Yeah, now you're starting to raid down all those buildings with rockets and these jungle bowmen. And, you know, maybe they have cure RA, but it doesn't matter God, when the rockets give that much area numbers. of effect. Those red numbers are beautiful. Still training out of here. And uh, that's the last of the Opries that are dead. But, you know, it's not like I can't just train them from this commandery that I built down here. Yeah, that is nice. And yeah, you're, I mean... And here comes the flintlock rockets for the Sentinels. So we're their charge attack. Commanding lead. I'm surprised you didn't push in here and just felt around. Yeah, uh, he, he was starting to push me out, and I kept training, like, fire throwers, but I was like, where are they? I feel like I don't have very many of them. It's because I've got to put the waypoint in the center of the map. So for the longest time, I felt like I had a really small military. It's because I had 15 fire throwers that were just chilling in my base. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. I am training out of the center here. But yeah, I got 200 out of 200 pop. Uh, you will see me do something pretty neat here. Uh, and that's why I spotted this town center. I'm like, wait a minute. I can just seize that from the top of this cliff here. Nice. You gotta love that multi ability to just heal by the hospitals whenever we're not in combat. It's such a nice ability. That's so dumb. Unnecessary. Uh, how fast does this go down? Not very. I don't have too many fire throws here, unfortunately, but we do have quite a high siege, you know. Uh, but he's all, also at 86 villagers, so killing that town center isn't going to affect him too much. I Where did all his just coin go? Oh, I've also researched, um, I I've also researched counter infantry rifling and I'm researching incendiary grenades and then socket bayonet. So these guys now have a 2.5 times multiplier against infantry instead of a 1.75. And that is oh, against and infantry and not heavy infantry. And then uh, you're getting in melee and that's just, oh, yeah. that's just all bad. 41, 41 hand attack is not exactly the ideal amount of hand attack when it's general bowmen to deal with, unfortunately. And they're age four sentinels too, so they just tank no matter, even though they're 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 the sentinel they have, counter. They have 400 HP. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Down goes the town center, but in come the Chimu runners. It's not gonna matter again, is it? Oh, he gets. He, he, I think he does get a few of them here, but yeah. Uh, he needs to get into H4 and get the and get the uh, the guard upgrades because these units just cannot compete with mine in quality. Uh, yeah, the lead's up to 13k now, and it's just. And now I re finally remember that I had all those fire throwers back at my base, so I moved them up. And now is when I start pushing. Now is the time to push. Maybe exactly. mixing some sentinel, which will you have this training openings so. in the back. Oh, this is brutal. That's just mean. Another hospital. Do the, does the hospital aura stack? Uh, yes, it does. So that's just infinite healing power then is what you're telling me. Yeah, pretty much. 
Nice. Uh, now he's finally hit the industrial. This is my favorite thing about Inca. Is just look how beautiful these buildings are in Age 4. Inca has some of my favorite Age 4 aesthetics in this entire game. It's almost a shame to burn it down to the ground. Almost. <laughs> oh, they look like they've got 4th of July fireworks in their hand, dude. Right? I love the rockets, man. Just massively oversized 4th of July parade rockets. That's so good. Isn't it? That's beautiful. And yeah, the, the, the game is kind of just over. We're just going through the motions at this point. He is Heaven. sending heavy fortifications, which gets him the absolutely beautiful uh, guard war hut look, which we'll see in a second here. Yeah. What is it? 17 K score lead at this point. He doesn't really have a military to speak of, and uh, all you got to do is keep producing, and that's it. Pretty um, much. Any Opry rate? It looks like you're rating with Opries in the back, too, yes, at the same yes, time. Sir. Yeah. Yeah, that's He throws in some Chibus, but they get caught by the Sentinels. And yeah, what yeah. is he going to do? His eco is trashed now, down this to 64 villagers, and yeah. Right as this arrives, so we can see the beautiful War Hut model in Age 4. This is just cool. I, I love nice. the way Eco looks, man. Isn't that just beautiful? That is really good looking. Uh, now, if we look at the, the post game, we can see his boom like works. He had uh, 20,000 more resources than me throughout the game. Uh, but it just didn't matter because I had I, I had some really good pops and micro and had and had the right counters to his units. Fire throwers are really really good, and I think this game showcases the strength of them very very well. The fire thrower sentinel combo is one of my favorite combos to do in Age War, and I think this is a good game to showcase it. Uh, I didn't I didn't I still end up having having more sentinels than fire throwers, which is kind of sad, but I suppose that just means my fire throwers didn't die as much. Uh, do you have any last minute notes, Chase? Uh, uh, no, I think it's a pretty solid game, all told. Yeah, look how many villagers you killed uh, in that first raid. And then, yeah, it, you got to age four faster. You got your upgrades, the cheap Malta upgrades. Plus, at that point, you know, what is that? 10 shipments plus. So upwards of 20% more HP just because of Malta's special bonus. Yeah, yeah, you don't. Like Malta, I Malta sent late seventeen game shipments. That's plus thirty-four percent HP. Plus, yeah, you don't want to let Malta get to late game. End yeah. of story. Malta is terrifying at the end of the game for precisely this reason because the fire throwers are just so good. No other comments. All right. Have a great day, gentles and ladymen, and goodbye.